Hello everyone, back in the garden again. As you can see, look, our lovely little tiny new apple trees are full of blossom. So we're hoping we will get some apples later this year. There's a lot of blossom coming down into the pond from the cherry tree that's in our next door neighbour's garden. So it makes it a little difficult to see what's actually in the pond because you can see all the petals floating on the top of the water so i'm going to put the little white tray in as i've done before see if we can see anything and then i hold it very still you might be able to see some little creatures very tiny creatures there's a couple of snails um, but there are some creatures that are baby water boatmen. Uh, if I hold it here, look, can you see them skimming around on the bottom of the pond, off the bottom of the uh, tray? The little tiny baby ones. So there's obviously been some eggs laid and they've hatched out. So that's good. They're good for the pond. So what I did earlier on was I caught some stuff in my pot here. And you can see a few more. Let's turn it that way. Turn it that way around, then you can see a few tadpoles, quite a lot of snails. Let me get a little stick, a little pointer, just a second. Sorry, I should have got this ahead. Let's have that. Right. So we have got some tadpoles. There's one there. Can you see how much bigger they are? They really are putting on weight, doing nicely. Let's get this blossom out of the way. There's a couple of, um, I think they're probably damselfly larvae. You can see their lovely tails. Look, they've got three prongs to their tails. Really pretty, hmm. really lovely things. They will be looking for the pond weed, can you see that pond weed there? That is going to be the ideal stuff for them to climb up. And then when they are ready, they will hatch out into damselflies, which are a little bit like dragonflies, but much, much smaller. I hope I'll be able to show you when the time comes, when they've hatched out and they'll be flying over the pond and laying their eggs on the pond weed. There's some little of the um, little larvae that we saw the other, the other time. And I'm not sure why they're two different colors of um, damselfly larvae. They look a bit different to one another, so I presume they're different species. So that's those. There's not really very much to see. I've seen some newts um, in the garden but not in the pond and I did do a little video of those which I will try and remember to put up. There's a big water boatman there, can you see him? Just up here, look, where is he? There he is. Oh, he thought I was a f something to eat. So he attacked my stick. He's gone back down under the water now. But it's a bit difficult to see because the plants and the the, pot, the uh, petals are all in the way. But that, remember that lily leaf that was growing? It's floated right up to the top of the pond now. Look, there it is. It's floating on the top. And there's some new shoots coming underneath. And hopefully we'll get some lily flowers a little bit later in the season. The marsh marigolds have nearly finished, but there's other things coming up in the garden. So there's some really nice, pretty ones at the back there. And these ones here are going to be lilies. And they should be smelling beautiful. This one, this is the first day this has been out. This is called an osteospermum. Really pretty, pretty flowers. It loves the sunshine. And the pansies are still going strong. They're so pretty. So we'll have another look in a few days time and see what's happened. See if I can find some more interesting things. Um, 
and that's it for now okay bye